Hello and welcome back to Terraforming Mars solo challenge with a cereal box. You know, we're coming to the close of the end of season one here, so I'm trying to figure out how we're going to pull it back together. Uh, Advanced Alloys, Mars University, things I love, towing a comet. Uh, what do we use towing a comet for? Grab two cards and then play Mars University? Actually, we could also grab titanium because we'll get free cards as um, as inventrix. This brings us up to three science tags, which I think is fine. We'll grab peroxide power just in case we get something with an energy requirement. Bam. Draw three cards as our first action. Wow. Wow. Wow is all I can say. Wow is really good. So we don't need peroxide power. What I want to do, what do I want to play first? How many things can I play? <laughs> this is hard <laughs> uh, because solar wind power pays basically for itself after playing advanced alloys, but I want to use that for a, a card draw. Towing a Comet gets us titanium, which is worth extra with advanced alloys which we can then use to do solar wind power, like synergies, so many synergies. <laughs> um, Mars University first, and then towing a comet second. Peroxide power is a good card. I'm happy that I drafted it, but it is the low of the totem pole here. Industrial microbes is debatably the best thing we could play right now. We could also play Restricted Area and buy a card. But I don't want to play Restricted Area because I don't have a redraw. So I think what I do, I think I play Towing a Comet. I think I play Towing a Comet and I grab two cards because I just, I need to have cards for the redraws. It's a weird problem to have, but it's where we're at. And there we go, like symbiotic fungus does not work with the build that we're currently putting together. Sounds good. Who doesn't love science tags, right? Come on, you guys love science tags. You hate that I over invest in them. Uh, we don't need any of this, thank God. Uh, you hate that I over invest in them, but you love the tags. So, I like industrial microbes. It's very powerful, it's very potent, and I think I'm gonna play it. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a different card, but it's like black polar dust brings our income way too low, and if I play advanced alloys, I get nothing out of it. Next turn, I mean, I do get a redraw. Next turn, my plan was advanced alloys, wind power, and then what have you, but let's you know, bring six bucks into the next round and have, you know, an option. We can go either way with it. Uh, that We get 16 more, right? That brings us up to 22. This is great for us, and this is great for us, because our stuff is gonna be worth that much more money. So first we do this, this gives us our redraw. Symbiotic fungus was the one I identified earlier. Ooh. I feel a little bit nasally, a little bit, a little bit of a runny nose kind of thing, which is just no fun for anyone. Oh, and I don't have a tissue nearby, so it's gonna have to be a paper towel, which is just, you know, no one's no one's favorite. So here we spend the five bucks to get a whole bunch of steel, and then we'll spend two of that steel to get three heat production. Pretty good. So we now, next turn, we'll have $15 worth of steel. So we're looking for a card that can be played on that. Uh, we also have a really easy way of getting to energy. So, so this is three income and I think I'm okay with that.
And I think I play it first, but where do I play it? For two titanium? It's a lot of value, two titanium. I think I get the two titanium, mostly because it allows me to to play solar wind. Because that, that extra little bit of energy income really does add up. Couple of heats there, couple of heats there. Uh, and then it also gives us our cycle. Hey, there we go. Two more heat production. And we have the titanium because of the card. So that gives us a heat bump next round. That was a great, that was a great draw. And now we're in a situation where we need cards again. I can play restricted area. It's expensive. Uh, but I want a card to do that with. Ooh, we can double mining. Where do we want to? Yeah. Yep. Nine, six, four, it's like $20 total, but we have three more. Let's just do this. Um, we're gonna do the heat bump. Yay. We're gonna do this down here for two steel right away. That two steel is then gonna pay for our mining area, which is actually gonna go to the titanium. Thumbs up, I know, you're impressed. You're thinking, that was a great play, Matt. You're super intelligent and smart. And you'd be right. We're just the best. We're the best cereal box you ain't ever seen. Um. I want to play this twice. And I need more energy to do that. My big problem is that I'm gonna have to get rid of black polar dust when I play a card. Can I play them all? Two, six, and nine. There's no better, eh? Like, we could go for a single three heat. I mean, a steel and an energy. I think I want the titanium. This is $4 worth of income to lose. Really, <clears throat> the argument here is, is one money production worth one energy production, vice versa? And I can't look at my game state, but I think that we're good for energy right now and we don't have uses. I'd rather have the money. Would we rather just have two money than a titanium? Nah. We want, it. it's, it's a good, it's a good trade. There goes the black polar dust. Archaea bacteria is good, it's fine. It's a plant production, which can come in pretty handy. If we get three heat bumps here, so Deimos down, can we even play it? No. But Vesta is great for us. Cloud seeding is not good for us. Power plant. I guess we buy it because we have steel, basically. You know what? I think we buy it because we trade it is the real answer here. Let's get... We're not close to having a greenery, eh? I think we still go over here, though. I mean, I honestly probably should have grabbed a card with that because then we could have traded the other card. Uh, we will then buy a card. What do we got? What do we got? Lake Mariners? Honestly, I'm okay with it. Totally okay. We're gonna overpay with one titanium to get a titanium production. We're gonna Archaea Bacteria. And we're gonna Heat Bump. Turn seven. Oh my, excuse me. I think we're in it. I do think we're in this game right now in a good way. 
Not... Yeah, no, I think we're doing all right. We don't have, like, a massive synergy. $11 to make a dollar return. Put up the oxygen is good though for a science tag. Like these are all good in their own kind of ways. I don't see us getting the energy production, but this can really save a game and it's steel production. This is, but that's $9 for cards that we're not using. How many, I guess the real question is how many science tags do we have? This could be seven and then this. That gives us a little bit of heat production. We buy regolith eaters. We discard greenhouses. Industrial center, we don't have the dollars for anyway, but we could use it to scoop plants in the future right here or make money on an ocean, or two oceans even. Uh, and then we make a microbe. Okay, we're in a we're in a good spot now. We're gonna have fourteen dollars for this, and then it's then it's off to the races. And we're gonna have forty dollars worth of titanium. Come on. Like I would take water import from Europa in a heartbeat right now. Would I take any of this though? Would I take all of this? Would I take both of these? Yes. Why both? Well, more cards, more better. Card to discard. This one gives us the plants in the future. Not good enough. We're not using it for its actual effect. Zeppelins, we're not gonna get there in time for it to be valuable. Or processor. Buy a card, how about that? Artificial lake is a good grab for us. We do need the oceans, as I'm sure you're aware. Zeppelins is actually one oxygen away because we're playing as Inventrix. And I'm not like, I'm not respecting that right now. But I think the big thing is that we have four titanium production. I don't wanna say I overdid it because it's not that much production, but we definitely aren't getting the, the kick we need. Four goes to minus eight. I think we take trees. Nah, we have six cards, we're buying more cards. Trees is a great card to have. Uh, but we have to kind of gamble that the card that we're gonna buy here is gonna be better. It was not. We will get an oxygen. So we can get at least one more oxygen that way. We can get all three of these cards. Is it worth spending 25 bucks on a city is the real question. Like put it here, we get a greenery this turn. No, because then we couldn't do Zeppelins anyway. So, yes, we want you. We want you. Uh, $11 to make $2 four times. It's just not a good card. Uh, so I guess we take this into the next round. I wish I wish that I had bought uh, trees. Oh my god, look at the titanium and the steel. E oh, aquifer pumping? Could be good. This is all fine. Just because we have so much steel anyway, might as well. And we have two energy and we're not getting up to four apparently. Let's buy a card. Oh, 
please? Could I see the card? Nuke! Nuke's a good card. We like Nuke. This is free, and we always want to play it before any other science stuff. Oh, this is two energy. There's a really good argument to be made that we should have gone for Cupola City over that city. In fact, I may spend $11 on an energy production, which means that I made a mistake earlier in my valuing of energy, but I thought with all the science, we'd eventually get one of those two science cards that just gives so much energy. Cupola. So if we spend 11 on a power plant, we're definitely going off script here in a way that is not great, but I want to spend the steel, basically. We'll just get in here, I guess. Eventually there'll be oceans nearby, right? Someone? We'll nuke beside it. The thing is I can Zeppelins now for one, two, three, four. So Zeppelins is 11 and will produce three times, four, to four for each. So we make a dollar profit. Sorry, that's all. And that's the same as selling the card, except we get a point. Uh, and we will nuke. Just for plants is fine. Because then when we play this, we will get two plants here. You guessed it. We have just enough to do two plants again. Okay. Small animals. Honestly, at this point, we're doing it. We're friggin' doing it. We're going in on the, the eccentric stuff. We're gonna get points on animals. We're gonna get points for microbes. We're gonna do points on points on points. Do we even have a Jovian? Like we have so much value here in titanium. We need an ice asteroid or a Deimos down. Even like water import from you, like Ganymede. Like I honestly, I can't imagine not taking it just because like why the hell wouldn't we? No, seriously, like, it's it's idiotic to take in one sense, because you have one friggin' Jovian, but, like, welcome to having nothing to play. Callisto, there you go. Let's draft one more time. Tags. We have ten building. So this could be worth money. Or we could try and get cards. A few games to eight. No science cards in hand means we're going to grab this. Oh, and we get to discard something. Hmm. The ore processor that we're never going to use. That's also a science tag. Um, but paying $14 for half a greenery doesn't seem like value. Do we have another building card? No. So we're gonna overspend. We're just losing the value of one dollar of a steel that very likely may not have been useful. Like that's not useful. Um, and then Callisto. Now, I would never, never suggest really doing this in a competitive game. But we're, we can get up to three Jovians if we play Terraform and Ganymede this turn for a dollar. So technically we'll have three more TR and that'll give us six more dollars over the course of this game. I'm in a point where six more dollars could be the lifeline I need. Um, Lake Marineris, can we play it? Minus zero right one two so we would need three heat bumps we cannot play it this turn we could play artificial lake this turn not that it's very potent where would we play it here and go by it here and then ocean in here eventually here for two and then ocean here and then we'll green right to it i think it's worth doing this turn
No, it's not do worth doing this turn because we're about to get more. Um, we'll do a second asteroid though. I almost want to do the ocean. We can do the ocean. We know we need the ocean. Put it in here. Um, and pass. Yeah, we, we want to wait because we're going to get more steel. We're going to get 12 more dollars worth of steel. So, why rush it? This is, this is good. We don't need another city. Um, how many resources are on that card? One. That's actually uh, perfect in a way. How do you how do you mean perfect, Matt? I mean that. Oh, first let's buy a card. I mean that that uh, card we just drew, the space event, is going to give us three microbes, and if we play it, uh, so the microbes go on our microbe card. That brings us up to four, which is two bumps, so we get two oxygen out of it. Uh, here we get to trade. Virus is literally useless. And that's all right. So we trade this. I do I do think the research is worth it there. I know people hate it, but Arctic algae is super good. So I think that that kind of solves our our oxygen woes. Put this here. We definitely want this bad boy. Three microbes and look at that, some animals. We'll use it right away, get some oxygen. So that's one bump there, we get another bump next turn, we get another animal. Um, tundra farming is a win. I'm only debating buying the two oceans outright, so we can just green rate into it all. And I think we do that. We are that desperate for oceans. We're also desperate for heat, but like... There are more cards in the deck that will give you heat, you know. Now we need three oceans, including after the free one, so. I think we're in a much better place now. Oxygen again. We're only making two plants per turn, which is crazy to me. But when you get something like uh, or Arctic Algae, after the, the point at which we could play it, for the record, we definitely were only able to play it because of our our faction bonus. And there we go. So we get another green ray there next turn. We get another oxygen. That's two bumps. We'll get six more plants from our bonus, or nine more plants. So another green ray from our oceans, plus their placements for a couple. So we're kind of short by one. Speaking, uh, oh, we have two oceans in hand. Look at that. Well, I completely forgot about the ocean card. That kind of means that we're in a good spot, I would argue. We still need an ocean. No, we don't. We do not need an ocean. Hey! Um, yeah. Buy a card. So we gotta know by this. I mean, I still think buying those oceans was the right play to get the greeneries into it. We're gonna go down this way for the money and the plants right now, but we'll probably end up going up there um, shortly. We're up to 14 now. Let's just get this this bump out of the way. What do we pick up, Space Mirror? The thing is, we need 16 plants. 
So we don't need this ocean. I'd rather go here. Oh, never mind, because we're getting three. I might have just been an idiot. Well, sometimes you're an idiot. And that's how it is. Um, why standard project for this last ocean when we can just buy it for 16 and get two extra points? We get an extra three. The thing is that we're at a perfect break point right now. Can we get eight more? So if we go here, that's five, six, seven. I don't think we get eight. I don't think there's a way. Which means we should just grab the money. Well, we need four oxygen bumps. So we should do this. Because when we buy a green rain, we'll, we'll have enough. Yeah, that's what we want. So we go here. Then we go down here. Oh, I'm I'm a lunatic. We were we were short an extra green. Hmm. Hmm is right. I mean, I can still I have to buy a greenery that's gonna go here. Quite frankly, it's... but I was really hoping to buy a greenery and get two plants out of it. You can get a plant here and a plant there. Man, man, does that ever hurt? Because then you have to greenery again, which could have been two heat bumps. I should have just grabbed a card. Well, I feel like I'm a little bit in, in too deep now. Um, there's no building tag that could give me the heat bumps from grabbing a card. So we go here, we go here and we sell, 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 not sell. So we sell those, that gives us a heat bump. Imagine if we had 23 more dollars. It's like we would have gotten two heat bumps, I promise. We would have found a way. And then we would be one short. Uh, and we would have done it instead of grabbing this one here. We would have gone there. Uh, that's painful. Why can't we play you? Oh, we don't have a, a, a an energy. Okay. Big old pass. So I can go to my little spreadsheet in Ventrix zero for the fail, and we'll hit done right here real quick. And let's see what that final score is. We have 20 VPs on the sideline. So, 94. Like, it's a good score. Like, I don't know. It, it doesn't break 100, so it wouldn't have been a great win either way. But it's, it's an all right score. It is, however, a definitive loss. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next one. All the best.